Well, let's get more on this now from the former Prime Minister of Estonia, Tavi Roivas. He is in the Estonian capital, Tallinn, and joins me now live. Uh, good to have you on the program with us. Uh, first off, what are your thoughts on the situation with Kaliningrad and Russia now threatening Lithuania over its blocking of trains to the region across its territory? Where does Estonia stand on this issue? Well, first of all, as you might see, I'm not in Tallinn. I'm actually in Estonian beautiful countryside. Uh, but uh, to the topic, uh, of course, Estonia fully supports uh, Lithuania, who is not doing anything else than uh, uh, following the EU policy. And the uh, European Union is uh, united in this. And whatever uh, acquisitions uh, Pratush have made, uh, they are rather ridiculous, uh, especially coming from Russia. Russia should not lecture anyone on uh, international uh, law, that's for sure. Your country's military says Russia violated Estonia's airspace for the first time by helicopter. Do you see this as a direct threat from Russia? No. Uh, they are uh, violating uh, quite often with the airplanes as well. Uh, but this is not a direct military threat. Uh, not even Putin is, is so, so stupid to just try anything on, on NATO countries. And I'm pretty sure that uh, he understands very well and his intelligence tells him that uh, NATO solidarity is rock solid. Do you think this is a provocation, though? Do you think Russia is targeting Estonia with um, Russian missile simulations, as we've also seen recently, because it's a NATO member? We have seen it not only recently, but we have seen it for decades. And Estonians have been telling our uh, friends in other NATO countries, our friends in European Union, anyone uh, who has... Um, had the chance to listen that uh, this is something that has been going on for uh, for quite some time. Uh, so we are, uh, I would say, vaccinated quite well uh, towards all sorts of uh, provocations from Russian side. Uh, we are used to that because we are living in, in uh, close uh, neighborhood. How do you see Russia's aggressive moves recently um, in terms of the larger potential threat to the Baltic region? Uh, no, really, I think... Uh, Actually, many of the units uh, uh, that uh, used to be very close to our borders uh, have been uh, deployed uh, elsewhere. Uh, so, cynically, uh, actually, the, the amount of uh, Russian troops uh, close to Estonian borders has uh, not been so low uh, for, for quite some time. But, uh, of course, it's very serious that uh, NATO uh, uh, sends additional uh, forces to all of its um, uh, countries who are bordering Russia and to send even more importantly this uh, message that uh, don't even try. All right, we'll leave it there. The former Prime Minister of Estonia, Tavi Roivas, joining us today. Thank you for your time.